Hello, this is David Kirkby of Kirkby Microwave Limited. One of the things that you need if you use a vector network analyzer is a good calibration kit. In this video, I'm going to use the worst possible calibration kit I can possibly use and demonstrate that you can get excellent looking results using the worst possible calibration kit that you can. Uh, in the middle here we have an attenuator, it's a 2dB attenuator, so if one end is left open it will have about a 4dB return loss. And at the bottom we have a coaxial short and uh, at the top we do have a low but I'm not going to use that during the calibration, you'll see why for the minute. So we've got no open standard, we've just got a short and an attenuator and we're now going to uh, try uh, the most silly calibration and we'll see that we'll get excellent looking results um, so you'll see so we've got an 8753ES uh, vector network and I'm just going to preset it so uh, we know where we're uh, going back to and I'm going to select a um, SM uh, sorry a 3.5 millimeter calibration kit as that's the nearest we've got to an SMA. So Cal, Cal kit, select Cal kit, three and a half millimeters. Hopefully you can see that that's uh, 3.5 millimeters. Pop. And now we're gonna go into the calibrate menu and we'll do a one port calibration on port one. Now at the top it's asking for an open uh, I won't put an open, I'll, I'll pick the worst possible thing, I'll put, I'll put a short instead. So we'll put a short on there, but we'll say it's an open, don't worry. Uh, we'll say it's an open, so now it thinks it's done an open. So I'm going to take the, the short off, and I'm going to leave it open, but we'll say that's the short. So there's the, uh, we'll say that's the short. And now it wants a load, so we're going to take an attenuator. Since I've got connector savers and these are sort of scrappish components, I'm not worried about rotating the threads. I wouldn't normally do that. Uh, so that we're going to use as a load. Uh, it's a bow bump. And we say done one port calibration. Now we're going to look at this. Uh, on the Smith chart format, uh, Smith chart. And you'll, you'll have difficulty seeing this, but the attenuator is right in the middle of the Smith chart. Can you see that dot? If I loosen it off a bit, I'm just going to loosen it off slightly. You can see that it's uh, it's not quite so close to the middle, but as I tighten it up, it gets closer to the middle. Now it's, there is a good connection. So we've got what is really uh, an attenuator but it looks to be an excellent uh, load so now we're going to take a load uh, we have here a load and we're going to put that on there and what we find is it's going around the uh, the smith charts or around the middle nowhere near where it should be right in the middle um, even though we've got a, quite a good load it doesn't look like a load at all. Now I'm going to leave this open. So now we've got the open. If we look at the Smith chart, it actually starts on the left, which is the where a short should be, and goes around as the short should be. So even though we've got an open, it looks like a perfect short. And now if we take the short, since when we calibrated we said it was an open, it will behave. It behaves like an open. So I hope that demonstrates that even though we picked all the wrong components, the worst possible combination, uh, the short, the tick left open and the attenuator all look perfect and a real 50 ohm node looks poor.